You can't spell painting without spelling pain, P-A-I-N. You can't spell change without spelling chang, C-H-A-N-G. Art is meant to disturb, disrupt. I think about this in my life as a young boy. The first time I saw Robert Crumb, a Robert Crumb comic. The first time I read Charles Bukowski when I was 11 or 12. Um, it did something to me. People often ask me now, like in my adult age, hey, do you like this art? And the answer is usually no. I don't, and I always say I don't have to like it. It's actually preferable to me when I don't like it. When I see something and it's disturbing to me or disrupts my senses or takes me out of my comfort zone. I mean, I don't know how true this statement is worldwide, but it seems like we're more open and accepting. It's very rare these days. It still happens, but it's very rare these days that I see anything that's really disturbing or disrupting because I've kind of seen everything at this point. My eyes are tired. But if you can look back in art history, uh, D. Snyder from Twisted Sister, N.W.A., uh, Van Gogh, Edgar Allan Poe, James Joyce, um, Egon Schiele. I mean, that's just off the top of my head, but you think of the amount of artists in society that were blacklisted or ostracized or uh, you know neglected or pushed to the edges of society because their art was too hardcore or provocative or uh, too disturbing it made people uncomfortable and i'll just speak for myself i like a i like to be comfortable <laughs> i like to you know sit back relax um and uh, I don't, you know, I used to have a lot of paintings that I hung in my house that were uh, upsetting, to say the least. You know, heads being chopped off, a lot of body parts being chopped off. And that's the artist's expression. That's how they felt. Um, I had a lot of friends who went through a lot of divorce and pain and they you know it seemed like it was a theme of just body parts decapitated and uh you know a lot of uh painters and artists exercise their demons through and their darkness through art they use the creativity but now um the same way that ghostbusters uses their containment units or the the <clears throat> general zod was um trapped in that mirror in superman three um what was that called the no zone something zone the negative zone <clears throat> now these these squares and rectangles have trapped the dark energy of these artists so yeah it was very <laughs> upsetting and disruptive to walk through my house i don't really hang i have one or two paintings of my own i don't really hang my art i hang my friends and other artists i admire so, uh, as you guys know, you know, pretty much everyone, you know, including yourself, once someone's in their twenties, especially their thirties, they don't really like disrupting their lives. You know, we like what we like. That's just who I am. That's just how I was raised. The way I think is the way I think. That's just who I am. Very rarely without a lot of push and a lot of, um, bravery do we push past our comfort zones and so usually when you meet uh you know future versions of yourself when you're 50 60 if you make it that far 70 80 90 100 of course you change with every decade with every day but most people don't change that much and you know this you see it in your parents you see it in your grandparents and you see it in yourselves um, 
So um, it's too much. It's too uncomfortable. So I don't want to be troubled by new ways of seeing things and imagining the world, you know. Um, yet, why are you even listening to this? Oh, this is this guy again, huh? There's got to be another. This can't be it, right? When we're sick and tired of being sick and tired. When the when the pain to change. What's this saying? When the pain to... Uh, I'm not even going to try. <laughs> When the pain to change is greater than the pain to stay the same. The pain to stay... Th- ah, fuck, I can't. <clears throat> so where does art come into this? Art can help us. Art is an easy way. It's not easy, but it's an easier way. That uh, it can allow us to see um, and allow us to change our way of looking and living even if it's disturbing, right? Even if we don't like it. Hey, do you like this art? No, I don't have to like it. I like it better when I don't like it. Um, and so we, so where we can't imagine a new future or a new life or new patterns in our life, we can draw, write, sing, songs, dance. So we can create new images and new patterns for our lives. And it's going to be painful. It's going to be uncomfortable. It's not going to be fun. Old habits die hard, as they say, right? Um, You guys have heard me before. For me, God is creativity and creativity. And if God is love, then creativity is love. And creativity comes from loving ourselves and each other. And so use your creative... Use your love. Use love today. Use a different power source. Often we use the power source of hate and hating ourselves and hating humanity and hating something. But today use creativity and love to make art that disrupts and disturbs. It's okay. It's a safe place. Art is a safe place. You're not going to be, you know, you know, like in movies, it's a, it's a device that they use in movies a lot where you know, young Billy, the teachers or the parents come and they look through his room. Oh my, you know, the uh, most recent one was Turning Red in Pixar. And they look through their sketchbook and their notebook and they're like, oh, you know, kids in all the ways they can't express themselves in their sketchbooks, they're drawing like daddy killing mommy. And they're like, oh, their eyes get really wide. And they're like, oh my gosh, is our son a serial killer? It's a safe place to express yourself on paper, on canvas, on a page, in song. You can make a song right now of cutting everyone's health, everyone's heads off. And that's better than actually cutting heads off. And you get to excise that demon through the safety of creativity. Use love, use, use creativity to disrupt your safety, the comfort of your life today. Make yourself uncomfortable. Make the world uncomfortable today. Disrupt the world through your art today.